Welcome folks. Here we go again with Kiwi Sim Racer. This is going to be da -da -da -da, our live lap track guide of Silverstone. Never anywhere, but that's right. So it's there. So this time we're trying a very rudimentary green screen. Open the shoulder, so it's a little bit on the piss. Not like me. Two weeks, dry July. Haven't killed anyone yet. Emphasis on yet. So, here we go. Get got the car set up. Exactly how it's going to be. Uh, race night. Just before that line is where you want to be. Right, flat through here. Too hard. Keep it above 270, about 75 meters down at the second. That's not bad, yeah. Well, we have got time for third gear there. Oh, and we're spinning. Oh. God damn it. This track isn't easy. Sector one time's okay, third.
important, uh, this right hander here, you get a good drive out of this, this is a second gear corner, watch the red ripple strip, don't hit that because it bounces you and you can spin out, but those white and black ones are okay, but you just got to get a good exit, see I'm already powering on, you can hear I'm powering on to get out through here, so third gear, fourth gear, you want to be in fifth before the start finish, which is not actually the start finish, that is, um, anyway, sixth gear, you want to stay above 270 k's through this corner, so turn as little as possible, but as much as needed, um, look, I'm not, I'm at 267, 260, 265, yeah, and then flat through this corner as well, Oh, so the, the first corner back there, yep, the right hand of that was flat by the way, sorry. And then coming up to this corner up here. Yeah, we want to go in between those two there. About 75 metres and we want to bang it down to second gear. So here we go, banging it down. Fifth. And then fourth. Obviously third's next. Yeah, and then we'll do second. Yeah, we will see, did second. Always a little bit of a lock up there. Now you want to get nice and tight once again, stay away from the red curbing. You want to get on the gas, I think it's about now, yeah you can hear it, I'm on the gas. Could have gone a little bit tighter, but I'm already on. Sometimes you can manage third gear out of here, but I'm already on the gas as you can hear. And then this next left hander, that's a first gear corner. So yeah, I did actually hit second on that, uh, third on that one. So this left hander here, down into first. See the other side, which I won't change. I go. What's? Yeah, there we go. Oh, did I screw this up? Yeah, look at that. Went up on the curb. And it looks like I'm about to spin out. No, I just completely cocked it. That was sideways. Right, we'll um, carry on with that one then. Yeah, it's actually the start of that ripple strip on the right that I'm about to you know, pretty much bang it on the head. Tipping in, again, careful of that red thing. Now this is personal preference too by the way. If I get on those red ones I cock up my lap. Then I'm already on the gas, a little bit of gas through here. And then just probably back it off, yep, back it off through there. Keeping some on, I would suggest and then back on again to try and get the best out of this corner. Got to be careful because it will shoot you wide. So we're in third gear already before I've even hit that outer curb. And then you want to be in fourth before you go through this corner. There you go. Just tipping it on and into fourth. And you want to be in fifth gear just before that start finish line, which isn't our start finish line. This is our start finish line, this one here under the sign. And again, so full noise through here. Want to try and stay above 270 through here. You can do that. You bang on your way to doing a bloody good lap time. Too, am I going to do it? If you turn too much, you lose a lot of power. 
Yeah, we've already started backing off, and we're stuck at 270. That's brilliant. All right, and then flat through here as well. And then the noise is frozen. Don't know why the noise is. Oh no. So <laughs> it's my fault. Bang into second gear here. All right, and staying nice and close to that curb. Nice and close. Don't hit the red part, otherwise it sends you wide. And then third gear, yep, back into first. There's not actually too much braking through this stuff. There's a lot of light-footed gas just to keep the car coasting through. Um, but it does help. And then just lightly on the gas again, you can hear it already I'm on the gas out of here. second halfway through there it is yeah. and then third fourth flat through there once so again if you don't get that exit you lose a lot of time down the straight and then after the 50 so there's the 50 going past now and I'm just banging on the brakes down to the third once so again I don't think there's too much braking Oh, there is a little bit of lock up on the left, so I'm probably lying to you. Um, but stay a little bit wide through this corner to begin with. Because you want to be able to cut back on the exit. And here's the exit here. You want to cut back on this corner. Staying legal, obviously, there's no red curve there, so you don't need to worry too much. But just keep it in third through there. And push all the way through. Now, if you could go left a little bit further than what I do, it would be good. But bang it down into second and I try and tuck it tight now probably about halfway through this corner is where I get foot on the gas just above where his hand is now when the ripple strip on the outside or his hand's gone off your screen but your ripple strip on the outside of this corner when it comes into view is now yep you can hear that I'm already powering on the gas lightly bringing the steering back just so it doesn't completely focus there but yeah that's how you exit out of that corner and then once again so this corner here we are wanting to stay above 270 clicks so foot flat I get on the ripple on the outside about 50 I start turning in and I try and get it that right wheel on the inside curb pretty well there. Can't tell you the speed at the moment because his hand's covering it. But that, oh, too slow, 267. But you can go faster through there. And now once again, so this one here flat, absolutely flat through here. And this one here flat through here as well. Get up on that curb. Got a little bit extra on the inside. I don't know if it's legal to do that. But I'm still two wheels on the track, so I suggest it is. Now this one here. Now I just bang it down to fifth gear. Try not to use any brakes. I always mentally just do anyway. So bang it down into fifth. Curve up nice and high on the on the left hand side. And then we want to bang down again for fourth. And then we want to go nice and high. So I've already put some gas back on keep the speed. Well, I want to stay above 200 clicks going through here. Don't know if we're going to. No, it looks like I'm already at 100 and something. But get nice and if you go above 200 k's through that corner, you should be doing bloody well because you want a nice fast exit out of here. This left hander you want to be full blown. A lot of power and that'll get you back on the straight going really quickly. So that's that part. Have a sip of a coffee and wait for the next corner. Right, this one here. Your full noise. Careful when you're draft, drafting someone because you'll go 300 plus. And this one here, about the ripple strip, I think it is. We're at, yep, where that ripple strip starts. I'm just banging it down to fourth gear, but then I'm keeping the gas on. Probably about three quarter throttle. Keep that revs nice and high. Keep that right hand wheel up on the curb keep the power on be careful too much curb the car will slide a bit but like this full power I'm at full power fourth gear I'm 
if I let go of slow mo now. See fifth gear. Look at that. Exit. You've got to be very careful. I'm sure that's still legal. Just. And then, so through here. You'll probably go above. Look at that. Through here. You go second gear at about the start of that ripple strip to the right of us. Start tipping it in at the 50. Second gear here. Black line coming off that front in the, in the left wheel. Stay off that red curb. Very, very close to that red curb. That's a beautiful way to do it. Get on the gas again, keeping it in second. Probably no need for brakes here, just feather, feathering the throttle. Get back on the inside, watch that red curb again. Yep, and then look, full power all the way to the outside. Third gear, yep. And then it's just full on to the uh, end of it. So let's watch it from the outside, see what it looks like. I'll probably spin out on this track, on this lap. Oh no, I've slowed down for some reason. Is that me out of gas, is it? Oh, it's me out of gas. <laughs> Silverstone. Hope you enjoyed my banter. Because that, my friends, is our live lap track guide over for this week. Thanks for coming. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me how shit my uh, green screen looks. Yeah. Hope to see you on track. Key exit music. Ding 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 ding.